Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can fix missing field main entity if you are using WordPress, Yoast SEO plugin, and any of these following page builders like Elementor, DV, Avada, or any other page builder for that matter, which is not Gutenberg block editor or based on Gutenberg block editor. This is because Yoast itself does not support any page builder for its FAQ block. As you can see, their support tells you to use schema API documentation. So what is it? Here you can see there is a lot of code that needs to be edited or need to be added. But if you do not know how to do coding, then that might be a problem for you and even risky for the website. So what can you do? Well. Here is the thing, you don't have to code. Just visit this website, technicalseo.com forward slash tools schema markup generator. I will leave the link in the description. Here, just add the questions and the answers and you will have this JSON-LD code generated for you. Then you can simply click on this Google icon and click on rich results test and it will open this code. And the code is automatically filled up whichever code that you get here it will be automatically here and then you can just test the code if the code is valid or not in my case i have already generated the code which is this i will copy it and test it for you now let's test the code it should be completely valid as you can see faq one valid item detected click on that and Click on unnamed item and here you can see there are all the questions and answers that we had in our FAQ page. In our FAQ page, we have these nine questions and we have custom accordions using Elementor Page Builder. So how do we use this code that we just got and the code which is completely correct in our website? Visit your website, go to your dashboard, and once you are on the dashboard, look for Elementor in the left sidebar and there you should see custom code. Click on that and just click on add new. Now what should I do? I will just name it like FAQ page JSON LD schema. Where should be the location of this code? I prefer it in the body start, but you can put it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. Now I have pasted the code. I will just go to the conditions and edit it. Select add condition instead of entire site, just select singular. Instead of all singular, just go to post and then sorry, go to pages. And now you can just search the page which in which you want to add this code in our case this is frequently asked questions so i'll just select this page and save and close now it has been completely updated and it has been published so if you are using any page speed optimization plugin like wp rocket like speedcast asset optimization asset cleanup or anything like that just Clear all the cache. I will just do purge all and be done with it. Sometimes, if your Cloudflare interferes, you can just also uh, clear the cache of Cloudflare. But in my case, this will be fine. And now let's test the page itself. So I will just paste the FAQ page URL. Wait a second. And here in the list results, we do have an option to provide the link. We will click on that and the URL testing has begun. Now, when the URL testing will be done, you will see that there is no problem left. As you can see, the FAQ is there and we have all the questions and answers in our FAQ page. So that means we are done with it. 
and we can submit in Google Search Console that our issue has been fixed. But wait a minute, there is one more problem. Go to Absorva, go to your WordPress dashboard, and then go to Pages. Find your FAQ page. Click on Edit. Do not worry, we are not going to change site structure or anything like that. Here you should see Yoast SEO configuration. Click on Schema tab right here. And then make sure that your page type is default for pages and article type is set to none. If you don't do that, if you don't do this, then in your rich results test, you will see two FAQ elements. One will be in yours. So you don't want that. So make sure you do this step as well and then save it. That's it. That's all you have to do to fix FAQ page error. Just in case, if you do not uh, have, uh, just in case, if you do not use Elementor Page Builder, then you can use any plugin which allows you to add code to head and body, and then just paste this JSON code right there, JSON LD code right there, and it will work for you. That's it for today. If you like this video, just subscribe. That would be more than enough. Bye.